Hey guys, Mr. Mig here, live from Audio Mac Studios, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, for Who Mag TV. If we go Now, sidechaining is something that doesn't have to be done, but it's, it's a preference thing. Depending on your style of production, um, I like to give life to all the instruments, and this is a way that you can kind of make them breathe and move in and out. So in this case, I'm going to open a compressor on the bass line. So I already set one up here. Here's my compressor. And what you're going to do is, most compressors in today's workstations contain a portion up here. It's called sidechaining. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and I'm going to set the sidechain to the sidechain kick track that we labeled. The next thing you want to do is you want to set your, uh, your um, compressor to the peak. And start bringing your ratio up and bring your threshold down. Now you're going to have to play with a lot of these other settings to get it exactly right for the tempo that your song's at. So I'm going to press play, and now you should hear the bass pumping a little bit more. So for those of you who are kind of like a little bit lost, like trying to figure out what it's doing, every time that kick hits and that bass line hits together, that bass line is reduced by, let me see, in this case, uh, the threshold is at negative 30. We have the bass line being reduced by about 3 dB at the point when the kick is hitting. So another thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to work with the attack, work with the release to get the exact rhythm of the pumping effect. So let's mess around with it for a second. There's no right or wrong. It's just all depends on how you want the track to feel. The knee from soft to hard. I like it right around there. The ratio you can bring up. Open the threshold just a little bit. All right, cool. So we got that. And one last thing to bring this bass line to life beyond the side chaining, I like to add a little delay right before the side chain so that the compressor will also affect the delay. So now I'll play it with delay. So it pulsates just a little bit better than, uh, than it would without the sidechain compression. And I can actually play that just so you can hear one more time what the delay would sound like on the bass with no sidechain compression. So let me bypass the compressor and press play. The bass just, I hear the notes and it feels kind of straight. It's not, it's not pulling in and out, so. Now I'll put the compressor, compressor back on. it. That is sidechain compression for all you new guys out there. Who Mag Television, Mr. Mig, Audio Mac Studios. Peace.